is going on Amazon sellers? Welcome to another video from the Flips Nation channel. If you're new here, my name is Rob. I'm primarily an online arbitrage and private label seller. And I post free information from my own experience in hopes that it helps you as well as documenting my own journey to scale my Amazon business. More information about me is in my Keep a Crash Course video. That link is in the description below. And, but in this video, I'll be recording my screen to go over just how I got ungated from Legos, Nike, and Converse. But the main thing I want to drive home here is the method, right? Because the, per, the item that I purchased in this video might be out of stock by the time you see this video. But if you understand the methodology, you will get ungated. There is no magic product to get ungated. As long as you follow the steps that I'll go over in this video, you will be fine. Anyways, if this video does help you, please do like and subscribe. It helps me and it also helps this information get out to other sellers that may need it. Also, feel free to join my free Amazon FBA Discord group. That link is in the description below and it's filled with free Amazon FBA information with other like-minded sellers also in their journey to scale their Amazon FBA business. Anyways, no more wasting your time. Let's get on with the video. All right, so here we are on eastbay.com for the Nike Ungate. So just some things to note. And this is true for any brand Ungate you're attempting. You want to look for the cheapest item that you can buy 10 units of because you don't want your capital tied up. And remember, buying these items is more of an investment to get Ungated. And you want to get an invoice, not receipts, but invoices to submit to Amazon. And this quantity of 10 that you're purchasing, it must be an item that Amazon also carries. And make sure the billing address matches what you have registered onto your Amazon seller's account. Stick towards the end and I'll get more into details about the submission process when you submit the invoice to get ungated. But well, here is what I purchased last year to get ungated on Nike. As you can see, I bought 10 of these items. These were these Nike socks. And unfortunately, these are actually out of stock now on East Bay. But remember, there is no, there is no magic item that will get you ungated, right? It's really just the same method. It's always the same method. I want to make sure I hammer home. And remember, you want to use this method for whenever you have a situation that you want to get ungated for a brand and you're going to a retail site that submits invoices to you on purchases that you can use to get ungated on Amazon. So since this is out of stock, what are we going to do? We're going to find another item. So this is a good opportunity for me to go and look for another item while I'm on here. And just remember, when you're watching this video, this item might be out of stock. So, but you know, you know, I'm teaching you how to fish. You know, I'm not giving you that exact item. But if this is still in stock, it should get you ungated. Um, so let me let me search. So let's search something that's cheap is usually socks. So let's see if there's any other Nike socks. So let's just go through the motions, right? Let's go. Let's see if this sock right here Amazon carries as well. So I don't see that product. See this little square looking thing here. I don't see that three pack of all the same colorway on here. So let's not waste any time. We'll search this one, this six pack of dry fit. Uh, just by looking at it, it's Nike swoosh on the ankle. It says dry fit at the toe. So let's search it and so there we are right here. This looks to be the exact same one. So we are going to get 10, add to cart. Oh, oh that's something else. When it's, that's something else you want to know. You want to make sure that all sizes are available. You don't want to get a size that you can't use. So going here, yep, see, look, this is a large. So we have to make sure that this is, in fact, a large size. So we go back here, and let's choose the large. Right, so, and we're just gonna add to cart. Okay, so now let's say that you purchased this item on East Bay, you bought 10 of them, you've matched the billing address that's on your Amazon seller's account. 
you make sure that the address of the brand, which would be East Bay, it's on there. The East Bay brand name, header, and everything is on there on that invoice. So you're going to want to grab the ASIN of this listing. So I'll use seller amp. And if you need a seller amp, um, this extension, very useful, really good app. It gives you the estimated sales. You can put in whatever cost you're purchasing. So say it's $10, it'll give you your estimated return on your investment. Uh, I'll have a link in my bio if you want to purchase. And if you don't have seller amp, you can go here and grab it. So it should be the same ASIN, QM2, QM2. So copy that to clipboard. Now we're gonna go back to Amazon dashboard. All right, so once you're on your dashboard, you want to go to the top left. You want to go to inventory. Um, you want to go to inventory, manage all inventory, and add a product. And you are going to go to this search bar and paste the ASIN. Hit enter. So I can sell this product. So I can sell it as new and I can sell it because I am in ungated. However, for you, you will not be seeing this. You will be seeing something different. So let me go ahead and put an ASIN that I am gated for so I can go through this process with you. And remember, I am using something else as an example. You will be using this ASIN or this product or whatever product that you find that matches Amazon that East Bay also has. All right, so I got this laptop from Microsoft. I'm gated on Microsoft. So I will be putting sell as a condition will be new and you're gonna click apply to sell. And then you can click request approval. You might get something else that says, that asks if you are a distributor, manufacturer. I just put a reseller or distributor. And then you'll come to this page right here. So let's go over these these uh, requirements that your invoice must have. Dated on or after, on, so basically within 180 days. So you probably purchased those socks or whatever on East Bay well within this 180 days, so don't worry about that. Just make sure the date is in fact showing on the invoice. It includes your name and address that's matching what's on your seller's account and you can go to the business entity. You can go here and click on account info, then go to business entity and you will see the name and the address that's on that seller's account, your seller's account. If you want to just confirm everything is, is uh, if you just want to confirm everything. And then includes the name and address of the manufacturer. So it includes East Bay, you know, you want to have the, the logo branding on there, its name and the address of East Bay. You want to show that you have at least 10 units purchased. I just purchase 10 units is enough. Make sure the quantity is visible. You can omit the pricing if you'd like. And you want to grab that invoice. One time I scanned it. I thought scanning would be better, but it was really hard for them to see. I think it goes through some sort of uh, computer or bot that verifies it. So you want to either just take a snapshot of it, if possible, take a picture of it with your phone, um, upload it as a either a PDF, PNG, JPEG, once you've added it here, I like to just add a rant, just something like greetings attached is my invoice. Please approve. Just something like that. Uh, again, it's not mandatory at all. And just put your email address or a phone number and hit submit. And that is it. As far as the invoice, I will go ahead and highlight just to make it easier for them. I highlight everything that it asks for, and that's it. All right, so here we are on the lego.com site. So just some things to note, and this is true for any brand ungate that you're attempting. You want to look for the cheapest item to purchase 10 units of, because you don't want your capital tied up, and you want to get an invoice, right, not receipts but invoices to submit to Amazon. And this quantity of 10 that you are purchasing must be an item that Amazon also carries. Stick towards the end and I'll get more into the details during the submission process. So when I got on here, um, 
the cheaper things I've found is, is uh, keychains on Lego.com. They they carry all these little keychains, and you can see they're around six bucks a pot. So the one that I had found was this Chewbacca keychain, and I searched it on Amazon. So it's this one right here. So if I go to Lego.com, it's right here, and you can see it's out of stock. And I just found that it was out of stock when I made this video. So this is a good teachable moment. Um, so just some reasons why I originally picked this item. Here is the picture of the item. You can look at all the details on it. It's a Lego Star Wars Chewbacca keychain. And it looks to be the exact same one, right? And another thing you want to make sure is look at the brand. Make sure it is from the Lego store. Um, the Lego brand. Some of these keychains are actually under the like a Disney brand or something like that. So you don't want to, you know, you want to ungate for the brand that you're you're intending, right? Don't accidentally purchase something that was on, in another store. Make sure of that. Okay. So, so this is obviously sold out. We can't get it. So you have to go back and we'll look for another keychain here that Amazon carries. Uh, like I said, there's no magic product, right? You're just these are just the steps that you take for any kind of ungate. So let's look at this Yoda, Yoda keychain here. Now if we go to Amazon and search uh, Yoda keychain, so let's kind of get a look at how this one looks like. I go back on here. This looks similar, right? Let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, oops, oops, all right. So, just get a good look at it. We're gonna jump back over to lego.com. This looks to be the same one. Okay, so, so now that we know it's the same one, we want to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. At least ten of minimum. Okay. Now I'm not gonna actually purchase, but I wanna clarify some things. Make sure your your billing matches your Amazon seller's billing. Okay. You want to make sure your first name, last name or whatever business entity you have filed, registered with your Amazon seller's account matches what you have when you buy this item and shows up on the invoice. The name and the address has to match, okay? I wanna clarify that. I don't want you guys buying something and be a waste of money and time. Well, you can always return it, but I don't want it to be a waste of time. And of course, make sure you buy 10 of this item. Okay, so since we got that squared away, you want to grab the ASIN on this product. Now you can use both. You can use seller amp. If you have seller amp, just copy the ASIN here. You can also go on the link or the, the website URL and you can find the ASIN here as well. Then you want to go to your sellers.com and go over to manage all inventory. Go to add a product. And now you're going to attempt to add the product here, what we copied over, and hit enter. So I'm already ungated for this product, so obviously I can sell it right now. However, I'm going to put an ASIN in here that I am gated for, just for example purposes. All right, so obviously can't sell this product. So select condition, I'm gonna select new. You would select new on the Lego item that you found on here. Remember, it doesn't have to be that Yoda. It can be any item that matches, right? So, and of course, follow the same procedures that I've mentioned prior. So new, apply to sell. And it's going to say, you need approval to sell this. Um, you're just not gonna say this. You're just gonna say something else for Legos. You want to request approval. So are you 
you can just you can put whatever here. I think I just, just put reseller. Um, now here are the document requirements. So it has to be purchased within 180 days. Includes your name and address that matches the information in your seller's account. You go to account info right here, then click on business entity. You will find your name and address that's on the seller's on the seller's account that you that must match the invoice. All right. So shows the combined purchase of at least 10 units. You can omit the pricing if you'd like. And and something else I haven't included, I haven't mentioned yet. It includes the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. So it will need to have whoever, whatever retail store website you're purchasing from, it has their address on there as well. So bing, 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 bing. You want to hit all these except for, you know, you don't have to have the price showing. If you don't want to, you can omit it. You're just going to select the file and drop it in here. Um, you don't have to put anything here. I mean, I usually just say, you know, you can probably just put greetings attached are the documents required. Please approve. Something short and sweet. All right. And this one in particular, I don't think um, the Lego one, the Lego ungate, I don't recall it asking for... Um, pictures and stuff like that so this is more so relevant for this particular item i just did some random ones so i think it's asking for much more information but um you you will probably not have all this you'll probably be, have just up to this and once you put this information you can hit submit uh should take um a couple days maybe three days max a pretty quick turnaround they'll let you know if you got approved didn't get approved so hope that helps. And if this video does help you, please do like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me and also helps get this information out to others that may need it. Feel free to also join my free Amazon FBA, the Flips Nation Discord group. That link is also in the bio, which is filled with free Amazon FBA information. And other like-minded sellers are also there from the community. And we can all join together to scale our Amazon business.